The special session at the Minnesota State Capitol is over. Both the House and the Senate adjourned early this morning after lawmakers sent five budget bills to the governor. Pat Kessler's been there all week long. He's there right now. So, Pat, the session ends, but is it possible there's still some drama to come? There's always drama here at the Capitol. Yeah, the session is over. All the lawmakers have gone home. Now it's up to Governor Dayton to decide whether he is going to sign or veto this bill, all these bills. And he told us today he hasn't decided what he's going to do yet. Our adjourn. The exhausting special session ended at 3 o'clock in the morning to loud cheers and papers in the air. Session is adjourned. A spirit of celebration Governor Mark Dayton doesn't share. I'm, I'm genuinely undecided on, on all of them. The Democratic governor says he's unhappy with many of the compromise bills the Republican legislature sent his way, agreeing two things he says he doesn't agree with. This is the nature of a divided government. Uh, probably everybody who was involved in this session is, goes, is going home unhappy about something. The 2017 session will be remembered as the year lawmakers legalized Sunday liquor sales. And they passed a real ID bill for high security driver's licenses. That will allow Minnesotans to board commercial aircraft. But Republican leaders are most proud of passing large tax cuts and transportation bills. Uh, you know, the fact that we've got uh, the, the largest tax bill in 20 years and um, the largest transportation bill ever that didn't include a gas tax, um, I think those are things, you know, real things to be proud of. Democrats called the Republican budget cruel to families and the tax cuts irresponsible. So I think it's unfortunate that Republicans chose to prioritize huge tax cuts for corporations and the super rich over really doing the things that we need to do to invest in Minnesota's working families to make sure that they're successful. The governor says he'll decide by Tuesday which bills he will sign and which ones he will veto. Maybe a mixture of all of those, but here is the catch. If he vetoes any budget bills, that means he'd have to call another special session to pass the bills to keep government running. Otherwise, there could be a government shutdown or a partial shutdown by July 1st. And Frank, nobody here, absolutely no one, wants that to happen. Well, that's a big catch. We'll talk to yep. you Tuesday. Yes, it Pat. is. Yeah. Yes, sir. Thank you.